so I'm exhausted, but I'm going to keep my promise and put out a daily vlog. <sighs> the daily vlogging grind, by the way, is difficult. It's taxing to think of a thing to talk about literally every th single day. Like, people don't remember when they make comparisons to people like Philly D or H3 or something like that, that those people have staffs and they pull from those staffs. And they also have very mainstream opinions, so they don't have to work too hard to make sure that their things hit. Like, all, all Philly D or Ethan have to do is, like, say, anti-vax people bad or Trump bad, and suddenly they've got traffic. That's the reason why when they fucking did the Nick Sandman thing, uh, Philly D was immediately making a, a, a fucking hasty video ranting about it. He had to retract that because his knee-jerk bullshit didn't hold up to reality. But let, I'll, 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 I'll talk shit on another day. Because I've got, like, endless shit to talk. Um, today, this is going to be a relatively short one, probably, on some things that could be done to improve the homeless situation. Um, the reason I'm bringing this up is because uh, I was offered a ride by a housemate, graciously accepted, I bought a bunch of heavy shit at Walmart today, so I'm stocked up for a little bit, and I'll be able to focus on content a little bit more. I'll probably head out to the grocery outlet on fucking Friday and pick up some bullshit, but ultimately I'll be set for a bit. And on the way, we got into a... and on the way back, of course, because, you know, I mean, I'm going to be in a car, I might as well talk about something and I felt like there was more to the subject. But basically, he was upset with the cops clearing out homeless encampments, and uh, rightly so, because it sucks, but he said, like, you know, it's because of trash. And I brought up the fact that, you know, if it's because of trash, then it's not a good job, because they'll just make more trash the next time they have to buy new stuff or get new stuff donated to them when they um, when they get uh, their homeless camp encampment raided um, and they're probably not going to be any better with that than the previous trash and like I didn't even go very far into this part of the subject because there's just so much to this issue but just to just to say something now that I didn't then, uh, the reason they don't necessarily take the best care of their camp is because of these raids. I mean, if it was a more permanent home and if they got to like set up shop there, they'd probably like build structures and shit. You know, little shanties, or maybe actual homes. Um. But when they try to build little homes, those little homes get destroyed. And so it's not kind of a surprise that they would also take this attitude, because it's like, why would I care about garbage dumped here when the cops are just going to clear everything out anyway, destroy my belongings, uproot my life, treat me like a subhuman who doesn't even deserve the dirt that they live on? Um, why wouldn't I just leave the trash here to be thrown into a dumpster when they throw all of my stuff that's already here into a dumpster? Why would I police that? Why would I risk being stolen from as well by taking the long trek to the dumpster when I could just leave it here because it's going to be stolen from me anyway? Um... It's that kind of mentality that leads to the, the, the trashy bum aesthetic. Um, 
but then, you know, he, he asks, like, what do you do about the homeless? So here, here's a few things. Uh, this is what I brought up to him, uh, that you should, that we should cancel student loans. And that'll upset a significant amount of people, but, like, hear me out. The general vibe of the, the education system is we want our numbers to look good. Whether or not that results in a better society or a good future, we want our numbers to look good. So what we'll do is we'll tell you that you need a job that's good. And you need a diploma and then a degree to get that job. They won't tell you what degree. They won't tell you what job. They'll just say that. Now why do they do that? Well, because if they can do that, if they can convince you that, um, that, that, that it's necessary for you to get the degree at the university, the college, etc., then <laughs> they don't have to work too hard uh, at their current job because you know you're doing like the, the higher learning. And they don't have to make sure that they're teaching you any real life skills because you're supposed to be learning those actual skills in college for the career you want. But they don't teach you what careers are the highest paying. They don't teach you that the liberal arts degree you're getting probably isn't going to give you too much money, if a job at all. They don't tell you that a significant amount of these degrees are just tracks to a poorly paid internship with shit benefits, if any. If you even get the internship to begin with and aren't just like an apprentice who isn't paid uh, at all, right? Who gets to just like live on premises and essentially, you know, you, you, you get food, you get uh, taught, and you get f uh, fucking room and board, but you don't actually get to advance. You don't get to move up in the economy and be one of the high earners. So upward mobility is killed when not only those things are the case, but you have debt breathing down your neck. And let me tell you, kids can't consent to sex. Thaddeus Russell is crying somewhere right now. Um, kids can't consent to sex because their brains aren't fully formed and because they haven't had the life experience necessary to have the rational understanding of the decision they're making. It's not fully informed and therefore is not consent. And we could say the same thing about being shoved into a career track for a job that's not guaranteeably good, you know? Why, why do people get to, like, job fair these kids into the military or into you know, some shitty, like, corporate position they'll hate, or government work, or all these things that they just sort of get funneled into. Why does that happen? Well, because these kids have nothing better to start off with. They don't have the skills. They were discouraged from getting jobs as kids. They don't have the experience because this 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 society increasingly shelters kids. Um, they don't have the emotional stability because of the prior thing as well. Um, so what do they have? They have shit jobs that that anyone can do that are getting increasingly automated away anyway, um, or you know absorbed by immigrants, refugees, etc. Who, by the way, I don't mind. I'm just saying that it's a fact that they're getting the jobs. Um, the fact that this is what's happening leads to disenfranchisement. And it leads to people in a massive amount of debt for things they didn't need because it's what they were told they needed. You know, go to a trade school, become a mechanic, and then get swamped. Generally. They don't go to a trade school, become a welder, become a logger, become a crab fisherman, uh, electric line worker, miner, 
They don't do any of that. And then just like, oh shit, you know, I can't pay back my student loans for the most part. I mean, it happens, but not often. So let me just be clear here when I say that I think America's priorities are fucked in regards to starting out. You know, especially since the people who get the good jobs went to the good college because they had the good family with the good money and the good connections. And that got them in there. Not like their skill, their intellect, their prowess. Really, what got them in there is the fact that th there were enough dicks in proximity that were attached to enough clout that they got fucked into place. That's what that is. So the good jobs are absorbed by the people who already had it good. It's nepotism, it's oligarchy. Um, it's very bad. Um, and student loan forgiveness would just be like a drop in the bucket that would allow people to be free of that particular constraint. And then they could get jobs. They could, you know, improve their lot in life. They could have more bargaining power for higher wages because uh, they, they, they would have more of their own money that they already had so they would have less to worry about if something did happen as a result of their negotiations. You know, they'd have a better footing to begin with. Um, which I think would be, like, good. But, like, that's not the only thing we discussed. We also discussed the fact that the war on drugs is bullshit. And that a huge amount of the homeless people do have the skills, have been to college, etc., do have training in shit, but they're constantly downtrodden by the system. And a good example of that is the war on drugs, which constantly uh, hyper-penalizes the poor. So you end the war on drugs, you suddenly have a lot more money that you were spending on the war on drugs, um, because it's been proven that ending the war on drugs reduces use, abuse, medical conditions associated with it, social malady associated with it. It's been proven time and time of fucking again that that's how it works. So why that hasn't happened yet? Well, profit, power, you know? Maybe it hasn't happened yet because the powers that be get prison labor. And maybe the reason it hasn't happened yet is because the homeless population uh, provides them with a warning sticker that says, there but for the grace of us go you. You will be in the streets. That's how it will be. If you don't do what we say, if you don't follow our rules. Right? So, just to be super clear, um, those two would be huge. So what do you do with that money? Well, it's super cheap to buy houses. That's why the bitches at BlackRock can do it so much because there are a bunch of people who are down on their luck who lost shit in mortgage battles who lost their shirt in some sort of stock or 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 asset or you know crypto bubble who are just like yeah I, I gotta sell my house quick so I'll sell it for a song because I've got to have at least something so that I'm not bankrupt or so that I don't have to go live on the streets well, they sell their house. Or hey, you know, the COVID pandemic. They, they, they uh, lost their job because of the lockdown. Or the lockdown meant that they were paid more to sit than they were to go get a job. Uh, the, the, the prices of things rose. They, they couldn't get access to what they needed. Things like that, you know? Things like that. Creating bad situations. Um, they, they, they create the, the ripe market for housing exploitation. Those houses could be homeless shelters. Those houses could be housing people who need it for very low cost. Hell, 
there are a lot of condemned places that aren't actually in too bad a condition. You bring people into those houses and tell them that they can get a discount on rent or, you know, free rent if they're working on fixing up the place. You can do that. It works. It'll work. I guarantee it. And you'll stop seeing empty houses and start seeing flourishing neighborhoods with rising property values again. Thus enriching everyone and making the economy better. But they don't do that. They would rather have these houses sit derelict so that they can purge squatters and constantly complain about nobody wanting to rent in that area because it's run down now. It's much easier to just let the problem sit and complain about it and have everybody be like, yeah, eh, that's a really bad thing than it is to get off your ass and do something about it, isn't it? Um, but that's not all. You know, the money could also go to mental health treatment. It could go to making sure that there are su sufficient resources that people have the psychological grounding for success because a lot of people don't. This system has cruelly, cruelly pressed people through the meat grinder. It has destroyed their spirit. It has killed their families. It has demolished their futures. It has fucked their hope. And if you just give them a little bit better grasp on their mental health, their own psychological well-being, they'll be more capable of doing better on their fucking own with no help needed. And this is all assuming that we don't end the state, right? Right? Because if the state was ended, a lot of this stuff would take care of itself on its fucking own, right? These are solutions that, you know, both Republicans and Social Democrats could get behind. Not liberals and not, you know, blue dog Republicans. Not the, the fucking wishy-washy fucking Ted Cruz's of the world. But certainly the actual small government Republicans. The ones who want to see money saved because the, the war on drugs is fucking expensive. The war on poverty and the homeless is fucking expensive. It's not cheap to install spikes to make sure that homeless people can't sleep. It's not cheap to retrofit bus stops with huge ass fucking bars so that homeless people can't be there. It's not fucking cheap to put like tar solutions on places so that if people lay down on them, they'll get fucking dirty. It's not fucking cheap, but they still do this because they'd rather do this and have the haves and have nots have the, oh, you don't want to become like one of them. So you better do what I say, because if you don't do what I say, I'm going to disable your life and you're going to be like one of them. They like having that because it's a nice, brutal intimidation tactic. And this system is brutal and cruel. And, and I just... There are so many more solutions. You know, not being a piece of shit when you pass them on the street. That people could just do but they don't. Most people don't. Most people don't give a fuck. They will complain about them as though there's some sort of rodent infestation, but they won't actually do anything to stop it. And then, of course, you've got some right libertarians that say unleash the cops and clear them from the streets. Where will they go? Who cares? Because they don't care about the image that they put off and they don't care about the fact that this makes them look like bootlicking thugs. Um, just had to get that out there. Less germane to the discussion, but more germane to my audience. Because uh, they can now 
use this clip against those people. <laughs> I just, there are solutions. There are easy, concrete things you can do. You can work at a food shelter. Instead of throwing away your old clothes, you can either repair them and give them to somebody directly, or you can donate them to a thrift store. I recently went to Goodwill. I have never been to a Goodwill before. They've got really good deals. If you're a homeless person and you want a good place to get bulk clothing for cheap, go to Goodwill. Clothing, anything really. They've just got big fuck bins of them and you can just, eh, you know? Um, work at a soup kitchen. Work uh, at, a, at a, a, a homeless facility. Work places that you can go to make those people's lives better and maybe give them a foundation for the future. And stop supporting the political policies that let them get there to begin with and force them to stay down. You know? I don't know. This was a disjointed rant. I didn't have anything prepared. I just wanted to yell at the camera because I'm having a hard time holding my eyes open. And I'm going to sleep soon. But I wanted to keep my promise to get something out. You know, and no matter how hard my life is right now, it can't be easier on the streets. There's always somebody who has it worse than you. So I figure this is a fitting subject anyway. You know? You want the, the, the druggies who are throwing trash everywhere and mucking up the place to have it better off. Make it happen. Direct action. Spontaneous order. Actual anarchy. That's what we need. And we need it yesteryear. And hey, all you fucking bitches who are upset about this virus, you better get cracking. If you want these government policies to control the spread or whatever, and you're encouraging massive government spending in any area other than reducing poverty and reducing government spending in other areas that don't have to do with that, you're supporting eviction culture and you're supporting the culture that creates homelessness to begin with and you're a piece of scum. Because if you really care about containing the virus, and you really want people to stay inside, maybe you should stop supporting the politicians who put them out. Just something to think about, maybe. Anyway, this was disjointed and probably a little bit insane-seeming, but hey, that's what I do on this channel, so if you have fucking like this for some reason feel free to like share subscribe go to library.com so that you can see the permanent versions of my videos in case youtube decides that i'm too based um and most importantly smash the fucking state